Hi there, Gemini, and welcome back to Star Lord is Tarot. This is your tarot forecast for the week of November the 4th through to the 10th. I went ahead, shuffled the cards, laid them all out. Let's see what's going on for Gemini. First up, we have the Queen of Wands in the upright, followed then by the Four of Swords reversed. Next, we have the Two of Wands in the upright, followed then by the King of Swords upright. And lastly, we have Major Arcana the Hierophant in the upright position. So your overall energy is the Queen of Wands in the upright position. So this is fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sag, Sun, Moon, and rising. So this could be representing someone external to you in your life that's playing a pivotal role. This week, the Queen of Wands is someone who is high energy, someone who's really fiery, someone who takes action. This could represent your spouse. This for some of you, this could be your boss. This could be a family member a friend or somebody new that's coming on the scene and this person is really really fiery um, this could be a potential business partner as well the queen of wands is uh, a real go-getter this person just wants to take action get things moving could be lighting a fire under you this could be an aspect of you as well gemini especially if you have fire in your charge this could be you just wanting to propel forward and i can certainly see why with this next card because this is go time right Four of Swords in the upright points to healing after a time of s bad letdown, disappointment, breakup. It could even be physical ailments, things like that. This is a return to health, though. When it's reversed, it's like the healing part has happened now. We're ready to return to action now. So this is this is definitely go time. It's time to move forward. Some of you may have been laid up with a, a health issue. You could have been laid up because you were just sort of, well, if you watch the Gemini video I did about uh, Jupiter and Gemini, you'll understand what I'm talking about because Geminis were in their final descent and it was kind of like this, this energy you needed to, when it goes through the 12th house, you sort of need to do this uh, Hermes repose and just kind of rest up. But um, Geminis are springing back into action and it looks like this week there could be a call to action here, especially with the Queen of Wands here. Now, moving on, we have the Two of Wands here, one foot in the past, one foot in the future. This is not, to me, really a decision card, although it would appear it is. It's like the Two of Swords, it's a decision card. Not really, because I guess we always have the option and the choice to go back. Um, but most people, given the, the choice, they usually go forward. And in this depiction, this person, look at they're holding the globe in their hand. They're ready to move forward. It's one foot in the past, one foot in the future. It's sort of like being, you know, on the precipice of, of big changes. So this is really good progressive energy. We've started something here in the past and we're taking that and we're now moving forward. We're not standing still. That's definitely true. And the Queen of Wands wouldn't let you stand still regardless, even if you wanted to. Gemini's are not <laughs> into standing still anyway. Now moving on towards the weekend, we have the King of Swords here in the upright position. This is air energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, or Rising. This is you coming up in your own reading, uh, Gemini, in the upright position. So you are on the right path with any communication you would like to put through. I see you being very uh, forthright, very, very um, uh, lo uh, loyal, loyal came to mind. I meant to say something else, but maybe loyalty is going to be a part of it for some of you. But this is about being very logical, mental, cerebral. You're interested in the truth, the whole truth and nothing but the truth at this point. You could be communicating that in a major way because this is the king. It's not the knight. This is the king. And the king wields a little bit of, a, of power here. So it could be you sort of laying down the law, maybe in your home, in, in your family or something like that, or at work. Uh, this is you just sort of coming out and being extremely honest. 
this could also represent you're dealing with someone else. Now, if this is the case, the King of Swords can be dealing with, um, it could be dealing with a, a legal matter. This could be a lawyer. This could be a judge. It could be someone in the military or even a surgeon. So these are serious matters that require, you know, leaving emotion out of it, which is classic of the King of Swords and just being mental, cerebral, and logical about things. So it could be you are dealing with um, these, any one of these subject matters and you're just kind of, uh, you could be speaking with them. Maybe they're telling you what's going on and you're telling them what's going on. So it could be a really super raw, honest conversation <laughs> that goes back and forth. And the last card you have here is the Hierophant in the upright position, which points to contracts and um, commitments. So this can indicate perhaps there is a need for a commitment here. This could be speaking with someone, maybe uh, if you're looking for work, this could be a wonderful sign because this could indicate that maybe you have, if this is say, for example, this is, um, uh, what do you call it? The interview for a job, this is perfect because you'll be very forthright. You'll be looked at in a very positive way. And then offered a contract, right? So this is really good news for those of you in that situation. Others of you, it could be, you know, representing a legal matter for divorce or things like that. And perhaps you're signing a contract for, you know, the division of funds, things like that and assets. But this for others of you has, uh, like I always say, say um, it has great meaning if you work for the government, for uh, the education system, it could be off being offered a term position. Um, so there's that. Uh, there's also being uh, signing contracts in terms of of anything really. I mean, there's contracts connected to just about anything. And especially if this is a lawyer here, could be you're signing a contract for some legal matter and legal matters fall under so many things. I mean, there's um, real estate, you need a lawyer, real estate lawyer, right? It could be contracts in that respect that you're signing. It could be um, signing off on something legal. It could represent, of course, um, you know, signing for some type of commitment. It, this can even be marriage and doing things more the conventional way than the unconventional way. So this could be, you know, signing papers for a wedding. Everything seems nowadays seems contractual, right? And uh, that could be what's going on here. You're signing some papers, you're agreeing to do something, you're committing to something. Because remember, you're moving towards something. You're moving away from whatever has been going on in your life. Now, keep in mind, these are just general reads. Just take what makes sense in your own scenario. And uh, that's why I give so many different explanations and I try to figure out the best, you know, the best way to read the cards for you, the viewer, so that you can get a sense of, you know, and apply it to your life if it fits. It doesn't always fit. That's why check your moon or your rising sign and see if that one fits. If not, then come back next week. <laughs> check, check out the next video. So in the closing here, I'm pulling an extra card here from the Wisdom Oracle deck. See any other messages for my Geminis. And it's number 28. It says building blocks. So definitely building blocks make sense with the Two of Wands, right? Even with the Queen of Wands, she helps get things rolling. The ball's rolling here, definitely for Gemini's. I've been seeing this for the longest time now. Um, yeah. So I, I want to thank you very much for joining me. I really hope you have a fabulous, fabulous week ahead. And um, I also uh, really hope that the reading helped you. If it did, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And I will see you again in the next video. Take care. Much love. Namaste. Bye-bye for now.